Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody wants to make a flag in the shape of the United States. You don't have to. Uh, this is a pretty good quality image, uh, but they're going to print this, so that's you don't have to do anything to it. You could vectorize it, but I don't really think you need to do. It's quite large and it's pretty good. But here's a clip art, and you can see that it's bad. I've already made a copy of it like I always do. It's pretty big, but since it's black and white, I'm not going to reduce it. I'm going to just go outline trace clip art and trace it pretty good. And then all you have to do is just go up to effects and group and ungroup it and then grab the major part of the states and you can get rid of that. And this time you could, you know, do a lot to it, but you want to put it on the front of the page to so order front of page so you can really see what you're doing and actually the intersect tool will work better too, but this way you can kind of cover up and get as big a shape as you can possibly get out of it. And then you just have to select both and go up here to intersect and voila, you have that. And like I said, you could do a lot with it. Uh, you know, you could test it out, uh, see what kind of you know, what color t-shirt. Let's say you're going to do it on a gray t-shirt. Let's just see what it looks like. Order back a page. And the gray is going to show through the Great Lakes and all the other part. And I might even, since you're printing it, it doesn't really matter. Um, but I think that would work pretty well. Uh, I think the placement did pretty good. I mean, we got some stars hanging off. And if you needed to vectorize it, you could probably vectorize that um, it wouldn't be too hard to vectorize that flag. Anyway, I hope that answered their question, and thank you for watching.